Alright, this is a 13 video. I was supposed to talk about Eat, Pray, Love. It's a popular book, but uh, I heard this lady is already an established writer. So I'm making another version called Eat, Load, Unload. Or oh, wait, 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 wait. Eat is load. Unload is because I shit so much. And uh, today's actually wasn't shit. It's actually just gas. I don't know. I don't know my body that well, but uh, and a massage or happy ending. Or just let's say let's call it happiness. I really, I'm just joking about happy ending. I, I really need a massage. Uh, I don't need that many, but what the hell? Uh, I'm doing a uh, a multiple of a what do you call it? It's a market anal analysis of masseuse. So yeah, at least I hope some of you appreciate my. Uh, my uh, generosity of uh, getting massage and giving you guys some ideas of where to go. The last place a lot of uh, foreigner local call for long likes it because it's actually it smells nice. It's quiet. Oh, white people there. Oh, white people like to be with white people, so they don't want to go to a place with a bunch of uh, non-white people. So that place, all white people. So definitely a place that you guys would like to go. And that big giant uh, Expedia or whatever sign trip advisor i'm sure you guys will be attracted to that so that place is clean and it's not like a typical time masseuse uh miss chipmunk has big feet and she actually stepped on my back and i actually i don't have a jade uh bdsm artist actually she said asian people have foot fetish i actually don't I, she cr she has big feet and she cracked my back by stepping on it i was like whoa that's the, that feels nice so what am i saying I don't have foot fetish, but uh, I don't mind step people's. And they usually ask if it is okay for them to step on your back because I think in local customs, like the feet, you can also will point your feet at people and stuff. I'm not Thai, man. I, if you point a feet, I'm not offended. Fucking mother, fucking James always points points that feet at me just because I'm such a uh, non-traditional guy. Fucking, no wonder someone broke his leg. You know, seriously, this is this is what I call karma. So James, if you get this message, just, uh, just hope you don't break the other leg, okay? Oh, I'm here to get the, uh, the watermelon is very good for a dollar a pound. So yesterday is 120 baht. The cantaloupe is not so good, but today I'm getting the pineapple right there. Let's see how much it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, how much pineapple? Uh, one kilo, 35 baht. 35 baht, that's one US dollar, one kilo, yes? Uh, one pineapple. Let me pick a good one. Hang on. Uh, five baht. That's a dollar fifty American or Canadian. That's uh, almost just a little bit under two dollars. Dollar seventy five. Again, no no tax, no tips. Dollar seventy five for a pineapple. Not bad. Uh, three minutes in. Two minutes left. Yeah, it's during the day, hot in the afternoon. There's not much going on in the city. There's one, one person I actually don't mind seeing is Mr. Guan. Uh, he lives around this area. I purposely, last time I waited for him here, he lives around this corner. And uh, he said he knows everybody in town. He's an old man and uh, he always prays about his daughter and stuff. And so it's like typical Asian person, I think. When you're old, uh, you don't have friends and they're not used to being alone. And, I guess that's why people have ick tarts to keep you company, I guess. I go, my mom always wanted me to settle down, have kids, and if you're old and lonely, nobody will be with you because you're ugly and blah, 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 blah. If you have kids, they'll be always with you, blah, 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 blah. Like, come on, mom, I think I'm pretty okay being alone. And if anything, I'll just hang out with the whorehouse and pay for company. It's like, what's the difference, right? You pay for nurses, you pay for pay for company big deal has it has a man ever not pay for company i go has it have you met any woman or wife girlfriend that doesn't need your fucking cash like when do you ever not pay right like come on what are you gonna pay me to keep you fucking company sure <laughs> show me the money i mean these are some chinese shops uh, uh yeah i actually I keep thinking back of the girl because I can tell they speak a different dialect. I go, is that, is that Thai? I go, that's not Thai. It's not really Mandarin. I know what Mandarin is. It's like, that's like a, 
Aboriginal, I thought some local dialect, but I, I've heard that before. It's like, I, I've been to Yunnan, China, and I told her, it's like, oh, God, you speak your local dialect, you don't speak Thai, you don't speak English. How are we going to communicate? And I don't have Wi Fi. I can't use Google Translate to talk to you. Like, oh, my God. I think I've, I already have one lady friend that actually don't speak uh, English, which is fine. But on the first few hours when you spend time with someone, they want you to at least communicate. And I go, what are we going to do? We can't communicate. We're just going to stare each other the eyes and your dimples on your lips and you know, you know, watch each other eat. And I go, come on. You have to, uh, I mean, thanks, but no thanks. Is it time yet? Okay, that's enough of this video.